Cleveland Metropolitan School District released a statement a short while ago saying, quote, questions raised today about a former CMSD employee's alleged involvement in the riots at the U.S. Capitol this week have also raised questions about the district's positions on such behaviors. While CMSD deeply believes it is the right of any individual to peacefully protest, as many did on the Capitol Plaza on Wednesday afternoon, the district deeply condemns the actions of those involved in the riots inside the Capitol and on the Capitol grounds, end quote. The school district has also confirmed that an educator by the name of Christine Priola submitted her resignation this morning. In it, she lists several reasons for resigning, including, quote, I will not be taking the coronavirus-19 vaccine in order to return to in-person learning. She goes on to further say, quote, I will be switching paths to expose the global evil of human trafficking and pedophilia, including in our government and children's services agencies. And, quote, I do not agree with my union dues, which help fund people and groups that support the killing of unborn children, end quote. Today we went to speak with Priola, but she did not answer the door. Instead, she hung a poster in her window reading, Save Our Children. We should note her plans align with those of right-wing fringe groups like QAnon, who have long spread conspiracy theories that the U.S. government is involved in child trafficking, with many QAnon followers believing it is their mission to save the children from the U.S. government. The Cleveland Teachers Union also acknowledged the reports, issuing a statement saying, quote, we are aware of the reports of a Cleveland educator who engaged in rioting in the Capitol. We take these allegations very seriously, and if true, they must be held accountable, end quote. Priola has worked for the district as an occupational therapist since 2000. Online accusations say she is the woman seen here in this picture, taken Wednesday inside the Senate chambers. The FBI says they're working very hard to identify everyone that was involved in Wednesday's riots. I spoke with the D.C. Metro Police today as well. They are working in conjunction with the FBI. However, Russ, an important note tonight that Priola, as of this moment, has not been charged. Okay, Will Uick here at Cleveland and outside the FBI headquarters. Thank you.